Hey everyone, I'm so excited to share today's travel vlog with you all. This one is very special to me because it was our third year visiting Kyle's mom down in Venice, Florida. Couples do that. Where's the gator? Oh, yesterday, did you see? Yesterday. He was right over here. You know what he does? He every day. How big is he? He's probably about. Look how organized she is. Life is good in Florida. Life is good. Kyle's mom picked us up from the airport and we got to her house around 10 a.m. And at that time I was ready for my second cup of coffee. And we just spent the morning catching up and then we got the best surprise. Kyle's grandma showed up, which was so special and we were so excited to spend Thanksgiving together. Oh. Wait, how can I be so fast? Did you, you do this? Oh, there's no way. I have to get, I have to get, reveal a your number ending in number. And the moment we've all been waiting for, Thanksgiving dinner. Look how pretty her backyard is. This is ridiculous. And there is like a five foot gator that lives in this pond that comes out sometimes. I'll let you know if I see it. Oh, golf cart. Grabbing, uh, throwing up. Uh, Heimlich maneuver. Jump roping. We had a very slow and relaxing start to our morning. For breakfast, I had a bowl of my favorite protein oats, 
And then for lunch, it was a delicious plate of leftovers, which is one of the best parts about Thanksgiving. So Kyle's mom is to blame for our tennis obsession. She got us hooked on tennis the first Thanksgiving we went down there. So we spent the afternoon playing and gosh, it was so much fun. And I just need to move to Florida just for this particular reason. After getting cleaned up, we headed to downtown Venice because Kyle's mom wanted me to try out this place called Island Organics and it was definitely my cup of tea. I would eat here every single day if I lived in Florida. Sorry, no remain lettuce due to E. coli. It was so hard to choose what to order because everything looked so good. But I decided to go with the avocado toast on gluten-free bread and it came with a veganaise um, spread. I also had a cappuccino with almond milk and an acai bowl. What a store. This store. I just want you to go down here and see how big it is. Fran, we can even go over there. Wait, just follow me this way. Oh, no. We'll work our way out. Come over here. Come over here, she says. get sick of is the sunset at the beach. There is something about this time of the night that is just calming and it's so therapeutic. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Thank you. 
well What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars So in my mind, my jumping shots look way better and then I see the video and I'm like, oh, you probably should have stuck to ballet as a child, but um, it's worth a shot. We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down Doesn't matter if the sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the lights up When the lights out After breakfast on Saturday morning We headed down to the Sarasota Farmer's Market And let me tell you guys, this was one of the most impressive farmer's markets that I have ever been to. I lied and I cheated too, it's all behind me now, and girl I just can't wait to move on. Come and walk beside me, feel my honest aim, I'm reaching out my hand for you to claim, so darling don't you ever Me, feel my honest aim. I'm 
if I don't pronounce this right, but for lunch, we went to Ioni's Raw Vegan Cafe, and I grabbed a ginger beet smoothie and a collard green vegetable wrap, which was so good, and then a couple of desserts for later that evening. We had dinner reservations at Cafe Venice around 6 o'clock and we wanted to have a nice dinner before the annual Christmas parade. Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found The rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say
young and we didn't wanna be. Kyle and I headed to the gym earlier in the morning just to get a good workout in. And then when we got back, we got ready for another adventure that Kyle's mom had planned for us. Trying to be those bad guys smoking cigarettes behind the school. Always trying to be cool, trying to be those bad guys, you know. We headed to this place called Snook Haven and it has a little outdoor restaurant and these pontoon rides on the Makaya. Wow, I probably said that wrong. Mayaka? Yeah, the Mayaka River. And I was about to see my first gator in the wild. And not only did I see one, I saw four. Those days made me who I am when we were young. It looks like it's about seven foot long, but it should be eight foot. It got a foot of it. That tells us a juvenile. This gator's right about three foot in length, which would make them about. It's always nice to see the small ones because we always know we have a generation of them on the banks and just watch them go by, especially if we don't crowd them a bit. It is against the state law here in Florida to feed our alligators. So they don't expect us to throw marshmallows out or anything.
our favorite spots for dinner. It's this place called Finn's and it's right on the water. So we caught the sunset just before our dinner and it was such a beautiful scenery. It's almost the last. Before the night was over, we decided to stop at Kilwins for one last treat before heading home. You know what happened one day? What? He was on my mat over there when I take Mo out at six o'clock and then five, ten minutes to six. I went like this and I'm like, whoa! He was right on the mat sitting there. Our dogs try to eat toads. It's so bad. Hi, toad. Frogs are so Okay, Tay, here's a good picture. Ugh. Hello. He like likes you. Before flying home later in the evening, we headed down to the downtown Venice area so we could grab a smoothie at Island Organics and a couple treats at the Upper Crest Bakery and then just walk around, grab some gifts and spend some time together before we headed back. Let me give you a piece of advice, she said. Larger ain't bolder and wiser ain't older. Just hold on to what you believe in. Under bridges and heavy rocks. We did not want to leave Florida because it always feels like home when we're there. So it was a little bittersweet because we were really excited to see the dogs, of course, but um, we flew back around 7.30 and it was a really, really bumpy plane ride. I thought I was going to die, but apparently I didn't. So <laughs> that was a little dramatic, but we made it home and hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys are going to tune in for Vlogmas because that starts tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Have a great weekend, guys.